hello everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to edit a home page in presta shop in 2024 so of course uh, we're diving into how to edit your home page uh, your home page is often the first impression customers will have of your online store so it's crucial to make it engaging and informative so let's explore the steps to effectively customize and edit your Presta shop homepage. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open your back uh, office for me. For that, I'll use a demo for you. You can use whatever you want, of course. Just go and access your back office to start customizing the homepage. Of course, if it's your first time, you know nothing about PrestaShop, you did not sell it yet, you can simply go to their website. As an example, go here, so type prestashop.com, go and make sure to click on Get Started. You'll be able to download the classic, which is the free, or the hosted. Of course, for the free, you'll need a hosting, plan, a hosting provider like Hosting or something like that. Or you can simply host it on your local, uh, which is your PC, local host. Uh, of course, for that, I'll just go and type, open new tab, go and type, uh, install freestyle shop on localhost, hit the enter button, go to the first link, and as you can see, a complete guide. So a complete article, a complete guide on how to install it on your PC. As you can see, you have here some steps uh, on your, uh, like, uh, outlined here. And for the details, of course, if you scroll down, you'll find more uh, details about that. So once you finish, you'll have access. Once you finish this article and following the steps, it's actually very accurate, so make sure to follow it. You'll have access to your front office and back office without any problems. So once you do so, uh, once you do that, of course, uh, as I said, so from here, I'll just go and click on login. Uh, you will be able to have access to your homepage so you can start customizing it however you want. So here, as an example, let me just go back here and see if it opens. Okay, it's not. So it's a demo. It may take some time. It's no problem. So as I said, you'll have to access your back office. And to customize your homepage, you'll need to go uh, to themes and logo. Of course, you'll need to go, first of all, to design, a theme and logo. And then from there, you'll be able to customize the homepage. On the theme and logo, click on configure, then next into access themes. Uh, you'll need to access customization option depending on your theme. And you may, of course, like uh, find or have different layouts, uh, presets, or customization panel. You can use, of course, these tools, just element like header design. So as you can see, we are here already. So basically, what will we do here is simply, as we said, go to this list panel, go to design, go to theme and logo here. And once we do here, once we are got here, as you can see, you will have access to uh, the themes, first of all, of my uh, whole websites, including the homepage. So you can change the theme if you have many, which will change or edit the homepage. You can edit the logo, as you can see. Uh, you can edit the logo of your store. So you can click on browse and edit the logo however you want. Maybe as an example, this one. You can uh, edit the mail logo, invoice logo, favicon. If you have a favicon, of course, you can change the favicon. But make sure you have the right size for a favicon. If you don't know what's a favicon, basically, it's that small little icon that shows in everything. So if we go here and open like Gmail, as you can see, this small picture is the favicon. If you go here and open, as example, Google, this small picture is the favicon of it so just keep that in mind and yeah so other than that you'll be able to here see the theme of your shop and you can configure your page layout so if you go here and click on choose layout you'll be able to configure the page layout as example so there's the pages here as you can see a lot of pages that you can configure the layout of everything of it there's the pages configurations as an example here you find the home page so from here as you can see you can edit the home page uh, that you want so here if you click on anything so first of all there's the header where you can find the menu categories contents page brands and suppliers and many menu here as an example the image slider here's your product uh, so this is going to basically like a preview of your home page and if you click on anything on that you'll be able to edit it so starting from the header as an example 
you can edit the categories of it however you want so if you click on configure here you can configure the, those categories uh, contents pages click on configure you'll be able to change those contents pages as we said so there is brand and suppliers manage both brands and suppliers in the same place so that's it's completely up to you i'm not going to show you like some exact changes i just show you where you can do it and of course and now it's up to you to change whatever you want so here you have even the image uh, image slider so I'll just go here and click on view my store so you can simply have just a pretty idea as example so this is the image slider that I have on my homepage so this is the image slider that it will be changing if I click on uh, configure so the functionality has been disabled uh, disabled because I'm just on the demo so don't worry about that for you if you click on it of course in the slider you'll be able to change it however you want and as you can see it's already like enabled uh, because I have a uh, disable here of course you can even enable it in uh, that so if you click on configure as you can see it will even show disable even if I just enable it even in mobile so it was disabled it was enabled in both but it's fine so here are the products if you want to edit the feature products top selling blocks as example new product blocks special blocks as example you'll be able to edit that other than that the text block so as example custom text blocks give your visitors extra information to display some customized block content of your homepage which is uh, this one this is the text block as example you'll be able to change whatever you want so if you go here and click on configure so it disabled again as i said i'm on a demo so a lot of things are not uh, like working for me as intended but for you of course it should be working other than that you'll be able to change the banner uh what is the banner first of all as you can see the banner is this so what's that as you can see uh, it should be like this 20 off on clothes this is the banner of course and here you have socials and use letter so which is going to be this one as example this section here you can configure it however you want and finally the footer where you have customer reassurance uh, link list and even shop details so as you can see what we have here some products our company your account uh, store information and simply uh, here uh, your customer reassurance so as you can see it does whatever you want and you should edit your homepage without any problems. See how it looks on your desktop, mobile, uh, landscape, and portrait, and tablets, and you should be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.